This is a case where we're removing an Acrosoft Torx lens placed about five years ago uh, on uh, the incorrect axis uh, to correct astigmatism. We're going to uh, use a Symphony Torx lens. Um, we're using the um, lens's current axis to mark the new axis, uh, which will be about 25 degrees away. Uh, I'm making my incisions here to uh, get the case started. Uh, here we're using uh, dispersive viscoelastic on a 26 gauge LASIK cannula to initiate the uh, reopening of the capsular bag. Uh, and this lens is pretty uh, socked in place. It's been in the eye for quite a while. Um, so we uh, reopen the bag and put viscoelastic in the anterior chamber to uh, firm the eye up and protect the cornea and make our main incision with a keratome. Uh, now we'll use um, cohesive viscoelastic on a 27 gauge cannula to uh, complete the reopening of the capsular bag and this creates a nice wave of um, dissection behind the lens as you can see here. It's important to uh, reopen the bag uh, 360 degrees to the uh, equator to get rid of all the uh, fibrosis because we want to place a torque lens on a new axis. So here we're uh, dilating open the capsule of bag 360 degrees. Uh, and once this is completed, we can start mobilizing the lens up and out of the capsule or bag using a bimanual approach. We'll now introduce uh, two uh, hooks, a Sinsky hook and a micro Lester hook. And I'll retract the uh, optic of the lens and sweep with the Sinsky hook to uh, strip the fibrosis off of the uh, end of the haptic. I'll also be using the uh, hook in my left hand to retract the anterior capsule so I can safely uh, dilate the uh, haptic out of the bag. We'll now manipulate the optic up uh, out of the bag injecting some viscoelastics to support the equator of the bag on the left side. I'm going to grab the uh, other haptic with a micro grasper and use that to uh, manipulate it while I strip the fibrosis uh, off the other haptic using a Sinsky hook. And you can see here that there's a, a loop of fibrosis around the end of the haptic that we're going to very carefully uh, manipulate off. Uh, so we don't strip zonules here. And here uh, you can see I'm going to re-grab the haptic and uh, manipulate this loop of fibrosis off the end of the haptic so I can free it up and bring it up out of the bag. The lens is now uh, in the anterior chamber where we can uh, center it and cut it in half and take it out. When I cut the lens in half, I'm going to turn the scissor sideways a little bit so there's less chance of my nipping the anterior capsule by accident. When I remove the lens, I'm going to try to protect the back of the cornea with a Sinsky hook. Now that the lens is removed, I'm going to irrigate some of this crud off the posterior capsule. Uh, most of what we think is posterior capsule haze is really uh, lens epithelial cells and fibrosis superimposed on the posterior capsule and this can usually mostly be removed as you see here. So I've uh, loosened it up and now I'm vacuuming the uh, fibrosis and lens epithelial cells superimposed on the capsule off of it as much as possible to clear it up. At this point, um, viscoelastic will be placed uh, to reinflate the capsule bag, and a capsule tension ring is going to be injected into the bag. And it's very important uh, to make sure that you've dissected all the way out to the equator uh, before you inject the uh, capsule tension ring. Once the capsule tension ring is dropped in place, I want to remove some of this fibrosis on the anterior capsule here because I think it's decentering the anterior capsule rim a bit and causing some contraction. So we're going to use a bimanual approach and peel this fibrosis as much as possible 
off the anterior capsule rim to freshen this up. So I'm retracting with one hand uh, to hold the rim back while I pull the fibrosis off with the other hand. And I'm going to work my way around uh, as much as possible and try to remove as much of this fibrosis as I can to freshen up the capsule bag. I'm now going to switch hands, pull on the fibrosis with my left hand using a micro grasper and retract the anterior capsule rim and strip some of this with my right hand using the hook. And I get away uh, to about this point and realize that uh, at this point I'm probably going to be getting to some really thick and heavy fibrosis and it's better just to uh, cut this and run. So I'm going to cut this strand pull it out through the paracentesis, cut the other side, and that will uh, finish the process of uh, refreshing the capsule bag here. I'm now going to put the new lens, which is a Symphony Torque lens in, inject this into the capsule bag, and rotate it into the proper position that I marked at the beginning of the case. The lens rotates freely and opens up freely because there's no remaining fibrosis in the bag to prevent it. After rotating the lens uh, to the proper axis as marked at the beginning of the case to correct astigmatism, the residual viscoelastic is removed from in front and behind the lens. The wounds are stromal hydrated to uh, secure them. They're then tested. The pressure uh, increased to physiologic and the uh, case is completed. Thank you for your attention.